In this video, we're going to talk about Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury, Season 1 Finale. <laughs> Probably one of the most brutal finales I have ever watched from a Gundam series. Alright? So, well, keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. As I said before, guys, okay, this is one of the most brutal finales I have ever seen from a Gundam series. And we're going to um we're gonna deep dive into what I just said in this uh in this entire review. So, first order business, the thumbnail. This was the actual scene where Suleta went totally savage on the enemy. And she did it all to, just to just to rescue Yuri and her father. If you've seen the episode already, guys, yeah, you probably you probably got uh, you probably got the idea of what I just did. Never have I seen a uh, a Gundam episode with this kind of an ending, much less in a finale. I would be a total lonely if I did not choose this as the thumbnail. Hands down, guys, this is the most brutal scene of the episode. Whew. So with that in mind, let's get to the nitty gritty of this uh, uh of, the, of the of the season one finale. Face. Shut up now, sa PC ng episode. Kasi it's one battle sequence after another. So natural, mabilis po pacing. It's not just fast; it's also excruciating, brutal. The, it's the form, it's the brand of brutality Gundam is known for. Masa. 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 <laughs> Bayan. Flow naman. Actually, the three gears I saw here were all, are all no-brainers. The first one was when Gulo kills his own father. Unwittingly. One of the heaviest gear ships of this anime. Hands down, right? Well, and there's another thing this uh, this this gearship will tell you. War is ugly. Second gearship was when uh, was when Ariel, of course, who got the Missoleta, brought out its biggest weapon. This is the kind of gearship that that makes Gundam a cool franchise, right? Especially you. Would, well, if, if you are a long-time Gundam fan, you would be ecstatic in this sequence. Okay, it's a gearship na to. It too is a heavy gearship. This gearship will also tell you na, Okay. Meron pa lang yung level ng Gundam na to. Teka, tumapila tayo. Final gearship was of course the post credit scene that produced our thumbnail. Actually, it's the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna classify the first gear ship as the the heaviest gear ship of season one, and probably this gear ship as the heaviest of the entire anime. Here's the thing. Your bride just realized how how violent you can be in war. And you you showed this in front of her. You know, nagmistula itis yung pinatay yung tao, and you use your own gun to accomplish that. And you come out of that cockpit and offer your hand in rescue, but dumu dumu pa at naangiti ka pa. Okay, so will this have an impact in the relationship between well, in the relationship between in the well, in the dynamic between Murin and Suleta? Of course. Going back to episode eleven, we had a Yuri moment between the two. All right. Ako, well, I am 
commit guys kinilig ako sa yuri moment na yun and now we have this so wow what an, what an emotional roller coaster the view with me as the viewer took from that from episode 11 to this one okay so i tell you guys this is the heaviest gear shift of the anime so these three gear shifts that i saw within within guys para all in your ampong finale plot wise except Super Lilis no Blood, guys! If you want uh, an episode full of battle scenes to work, as much as possible, what can you put in a side or backstory? If you're going to put only an experience sequence, you you gotta justify it. But I think about that, there's no experience sequence here. It's really going to continue. So, it's not a Lilis no Blood in the final. There was um, uh, there was no breaks in the storyline. I didn't have a single sleeper moment in this episode. Talagang gising na gising ako. <laughs> hey, well, right now it's the right now it's the afternoon. Medyo uh, by nature ang tuhok nako paghapon. Pero wala talagang ni isang ni isang segundo ng anto hindi ako tigalo sa episode na ko. Due to the clean plot, the ultra clean plot of this episode. Grabe. So, base flow and plot. You all came together for this, uh, for this finale, folks. Setting us up for probably, yeah, for, for probably an even better season. Not another two post credit scene. Yun. So, Bobo Sugganda, The Witch from Mercury, season one finale. No brainer. Two up! Ano pa ba yintay natin, guys? We go YouTube. And if yintay na season two, okay? That particular post-credit scene is already seared into my brain. It's already giving me an idea of how, uh, of how the um, of how the. Yeah, of how Soleta and Yurin's relationship will go. Okay, so I can't wait for season two. Kayo, uh, you can't wait for season two now, guys. Kayo, YouTube. So let's just wait for season two, and while you're at it, what's the next review?